Springtime in my garden and I can always count on a bountiful supply of two of my favourite veg, the zucchini and the blessed beetroot. Just take a look at these little beauties. But what to do with them in the kitchen? Well, it's time to catch up with my good buddy, Julie Ray, to see what fabulous food ideas she's got in mind. Hey Jules. Oh, hi Phil. Check it out. I've got oh, the gear. Yeah. Are you ready? From the garden. You ready oh, for us? Yeah, absolutely. Got some beautiful zucchini from the garden and these magnificent beetroot. Now, what did you have in mind? When you told me we've got some beetroot and zucchini, I yep. thought, ooh, summertime's coming. Mm -hmm. Barbecue. Barbecue's a bit. So I thought a char grilled zucchini and feta sticks. Yes. With beetroot dip. That sounds absolutely mouthwatering. Along with our garden fresh beetroot and zucchini, Julie has some feta, sumac, ground cumin, garlic, slivered almonds, and some sultanas that have been pre soaked in water. First step, we prepare the beetroot by removing the top and base. Don't waste the leaves, they're great in salads. Then it's onto a baking tray along with a full head of garlic and into a preheated oven at 180 degrees. Next, Julie tops and tails the zucchini before slicing it finely using a mandolin slicer. If you don't have one of these, you can use a knife, but it must be sharp. Once they're done, Julie makes a zucchini marinade, which is a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, one teaspoon of ground cumin, two teaspoons of sumac and a clove of crushed garlic. But I'm going to show you a way how to crush the garlic yep. without using a garlic crusher because you know if you use a garlic crusher you don't clean it properly. That's what's going to happen. They are not. They come rancid. So what mm -hmm. you do, I just again take the top and tail of the the garlic and Give a bash. smash it. That's it. Give it a smash. Great Give thing to do at the end of the day when you're going from the office. <laughs> take it out yes. on the garlic. <laughs> <laughs> and a bit of salt onto the board. And you know, chop, chop, chop. And then with a the cyber knife, mm -hmm. we'll you crush it. You crush it. See how easy that was? That is beautiful. Well, look at that beautiful product. Stir the mixture, lay in your strips of zucchini, and give it a good massage. She's got a massage for food. Good massage. Because she's in love with food. Good love with food. If you love your food, it'll love you back. Come on. I'm in love with this. I think it smells great. It'll love you back, especially when you eat it. The marinade helps to flavour and soften the zucchini, making it easier to roll. Julie says to leave it to sit for about half an hour, in which time the beetroot should be just about ready. While Julie and I get in and peel the beetroot, it's the perfect time to pass on a few tips for growing this most beautiful vegetable. Now these are really easy to grow. Now if you can plant seedlings, or you can plant them directly from seed, um, and get them going. They don't take long to come up from seed, but seedlings is a nice, quick and easy way to get them going. Mm. Um, the important thing is they like a nice, rich soil. So plenty of compost, some well-rotted cow manures, all very, very good for your soil. Okay. I know you've been doing that in your own garden, yeah, which is actually, excellent, and yeah. you get results doing that. Yeah. The other thing is that they need a regular feed, so a little bit of blood and bone in the soil before you plant them. Then a little bit of liquid fertiliser once a week, you know, some fish emulsion mixed with some seaweed extract really gets them kicking along because they are sulkers if you don't give them They're sulkers. Food. Yeah, and if you want lots, lots of lovely foliage as well <laughs> for your salads, you've got to kick them along. And within a oh, couple of months, you've got the babies ready to go. Now, so. I noticed when I'm growing my beets mm. that they stick up on the top of the soil. The, the guys are coming up. It's like they're coming out of the earth. There's nothing wrong with that, Jules, <laughs> because that's what they do. They oh, need okay. a bit of space. They've still got that little they bit of rooty panic. bit. Up and don't panic. That's perfect. Don't cover them up that's as well? That's exactly what... No, you don't need it. Oh, okay. okay. Just okay. let them be. So you just got to give these a chop now? I'm give it a chop and then I'm going to whiz it. You're going to whiz, whiz it? it. going to give it a little bit of a blend. Julie adds two cloves of roasted garlic to a chopped beetroot, salt and pepper, a squeeze of lemon, and then blend it into a smooth paste. And a couple of dollops of plain yogurt, then mixes it through before putting it straight into a serving bowl. Time to prepare our zucchini rolls. Julie lays down a single slice flat on the board, feta, a few sultanas, some dried roasted almonds, rolls it up firmly, then pushes through a bamboo skewer to hold it all together. 
There's nothing like rolling up a few zucchini with a friend to allow someone to really open up and disclose their deepest, darkest secrets. Now, I've grown zucchini, we're trying to grow zucchini, mm. and oh, don't forget the sultanas. I won't forget those. Yeah. And the thing is, the fruit, they, they drop off and go yellow. They go yellow, they don't quite grow properly. They don't grow properly, what am I doing wrong? You're I've not doing tried, it right. I've been talking to them. You're I've not been... doing it, everyone has that problem oh, sometime. Okay. You know but what's actually happening? No. The plants are growing okay, it's, they're just not getting an adequate pollination. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, okay. poll it's a pollination issue, Jules. Okay, so not enough pollination. Well, issue. Well, you don't have enough bees around, that's common. A lot of us don't have enough bees around no, these days. No. You've actually got to hand pollinate them. <laughs> so you... <laughs> yes, it's okay. It's okay. Interfering with nature. Interfering with nature? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, to do okay. It. You need to sort out what is the male and the female flower. Now, the female flower okay. is the one that has like an immature little zucchini sitting underneath the flower. It looks like a little zucchini. And the male flower is just a long stalk with a flower sitting at the top. Once you find that, you can take the male flower, rip it off, take the petals off around the outside, and you're right. left with the pollen. Put the pollen in to the oh, female. Oh, so you're doing this thing? You, you're doing that oh, sort of thing. Mm, that's I don't know, it, just stuff. It's a bit mad, scientists, and the adults are watching, so we can talk about that. You know, and my yeah, wife came in the other day. Show. Melissa came in, she said, <laughs> Phil, I've just seen the zucchinis in full flower. She said, have you had your way with them? <laughs> Disturbing. You do but worry you, about you out in that garden sometimes. But if you, <laughs> that's right. Well, you know, that's why I spend so much time out there, Jules. But if you, if you do those things, you're going to have a super crop of zucchinis. A few good yarns and the rolls are done. Time to get them onto our hot plate. So before you put the, the zucchini and feather sticks on, you've got to make sure your grill is nice and hot. So, there we are. So, see, you want to hear the sizzle? That's what we're talking about. Sizzling away. It's char grilling. If you don't have it hot enough, it'll stew. It takes around five minutes or so on each side to char grill the rolls. Once they're done, Julie arranges the skewers on a white serving plate along with the beetroot dip. Now for the most important part, eating. Oh, dooly dooly, doesn't that look good? Look what we did! That is, did we do that ourselves? We did! That was magnificent. From your garden, to my kitchen, in our mouth. That's what <laughs> we're about. How about we try one oh, of these, Jules? Try it. Look, I'll tell you what, here, this is yeah, for you. You're doing a napkin. I've been preparing. Yeah, thank there you. There you go, wait. Thank you. Now we need to grab, oh, man. grab one of these, spoon a little bit of this beautiful beetroot. Do you want to yes, in first? Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. Gentlemen first. Alright, look at that. Oh. <laughs> mm. I'll use your spoon. Yeah, why not? Mm. I'm not going to put as much on it though. Mm. Okay. <gasps> One, two, what do you reckon? Mm. I'm already done. Jules, you've got that lovely mm. barbie kind of thing going on. The saltiness, the crunchiness, the sweetness. Oh. Sorry to speak with a mouthful, but. Got to be happy with that. I reckon if I was a barbie and you served that up when I arrived, I'd be. Way impressed. It's so easy. Mm -hmm. It's so fresh mm -hmm. from the garden. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. I mean, that beach yum. Mm -hmm. All stuff with that. Go. Stop me. So why don't you have a bit of a go yourself? It's <laughs> really easy to do, isn't it, Jules? I'm sorry, I'm just going to mention this. Sorry, it's just so delicious. See you Enjoy. Next time. After you, sir. After, After me. <laughs> why not? Yes. Okay, that's good. I have to say that's yum.